United States Senator John Kennedy is here. Mr. John, welcome back. Thank you, sir. Robert, thank you. How are you and Aaron, each of you, feeling? I am excellent. I am very fortunate. My symptoms from the very beginning have been minimal. I think Aaron could basically uh, say the same thing, right? Yep, doing pretty good. Just a little bit tired. But other than that, we're, we're hanging in. Mr. John, United States well, Supreme Court to, Justice. I'm glad to hear it. We appreciate your thoughts. United States Supreme Court Justice Sam Alito over the weekend came out and was highly critical of the way things, the election counting, the returns had been handled in Pennsylvania. You can tell us probably a lot more about that than we know. What are your thoughts on what Alito had to say, highly critical of Pennsylvania, and the status of of any recounts in a variety of states? Our voting process was not exactly a model of efficiency in a lot of places. We need to get this right. There are millions of Americans who are skeptical about the voting process. Uh, Many of them uh, think we need to send Big Bird to some of these states to teach them how to count. Uh, Others believe that the election process was rigged as a carnival ring dog. Now, for the integrity of the electoral system that we have chosen to effectuate our democracy, uh, we need to resolve the election irregularity dispute. The, the president, as he is his right, has filed a number of lawsuits. I think others have as well. And that's why God made judges in America when we disagree with an election. Uh, we uh, we make our claims in a court of law, and we let the court of law act, and that's what we're doing, and that's what I support. Mr. John, it has to be of some concern to you that so many Democrat election officials in any number of states are are literally keeping people legitimate, legal observers to the recount process, or hell, just the counting process. From, from seeing how they're doing their work. Robert, I don't know. I obviously was not a poll watcher. I don't know what's true and what's not true. But what what we have to do, it seems to me, and both sides, it also seems to me should agree to this, is let people file their claim and let a court of law hear them. And let's have full transparency, what worked, what didn't work, who cheated, who didn't cheat. I I can't uh, pass on the veracity of the claim, but I sure do support the right of people to bring them, including our president. And we're not going to get confidence back in this election until we do that. People say, okay, everybody's complaints were heard, and now we have the facts. Mr. John, you were kind of called out on CNN last night. You were called out on CNN last night and Senator Kennedy, uh, Cassidy because of your quote-unquote refusal to address to refer to Senator Vice President Biden as president-elect and that there should be a political price, if not a professional price, you should pay for that. What do you think about that? What do you think about calls for political revenge? Well, here's what I think. I, I don't. I don't pay attention to that stuff. I mean, we got a lot of, of uh, you know, in many cases, well-intentioned and others not well-intentioned crazies out there. And this is America. They're entitled to believe what they want. Um, but, but you know, on a comment like that, my response is, "Hey, man, I hear you, but you need to call somebody who cares what you think, if that's what your opinion is." But you do have the right to uh, Senator Kennedy, let me ask you, shift, shift, shift gears a minute on another stimulus package. Mitch McConnell is saying this morning on Fox that he doesn't want this massive bill that's been discussed. Where are we on getting more help to those who've been impacted this year? I don't think we're going to have one anytime soon, and that's the decision made by the uh, Speaker Pelosi. Um, she said the uh, earlier this week that she is going to insist on her... I don't know how many trillions of dollars it is now, her bill. Uh, her, her bill is, is uh, not really about coronavirus. It's got all kind of spending and policy 
corn in it. It's got she wants to rewrite the election laws. She wants to uh, to uh, let prisoners go. Uh, she wants to rewrite the immigration laws. I mean, she's got all kinds of stuff. It has nothing to do with the coronavirus, and it's not going to pass the United States Senate. We have a bill that I think would pass if Senator Schumer and Speaker Pelosi would release their uh, their troops. It's um, it will address. Uh, additional help for small business, additional unemployment compensation, more money for testing. It'll get our schools open safely. But what Speaker Pelosi is doing, I mean, I said it the other day, I didn't mean, you know, disrespect, but I said, I can't believe that's her position. And if it is her position, referring to Speaker Pelosi, she needs to go to bed. She's drunk. She knows this isn't going to pass. Senator Kennedy, let me ask you this. A follow-up to that. There are thousands of people who need help. The election is over. We all thought once the election is done, um, the Democrats screaming that they won. So let's help now. You think maybe that's a possibility? I hope so. But the, but the ball is not in our court. The ball was in Speaker Pelosi's court. And, uh, you know, you don't have to be Einstein's cousin to be able to see that there's no way with all the, the, the garbage in her bill, I mean, let me say it again. She wants to let prisoners go because of the coronavirus. She wants to rewrite America's immigration laws. She wants open borders. She wants to rewrite election laws to favor uh, the, the San Francisco Democrats. I'm not going to vote for that. I want to help uh, the American people and the people in Louisiana. We're hurting. And shame on her for, for thinking about the next election. I guess she's thinking about Georgia and not the next generation. But, you know, you can lead a person to Congress, but you can't make them think. And that's kind of where we are with Speaker Pelosi. I'm very surprised. I thought, I thought after... I know, you want to honor, I know you want to honor veterans today, Senator. It's Veterans Day. Oh, amen. You have a message for those I who mean, serve? I mean, you know, look, weakness invites the wolves. And we're the strongest country in all of human history because of our veterans. And uh, we owe them everything. And, and, uh, and I honor them today and every day. United States Senator John Kennedy, a pleasure as always, sir. Thank you for your time. And uh, uh, we always appreciate it. Look forward to having you in studio someday soon when we're all back and feeling better. Stay well, folks.